Uh, for me, it's like almost like peeling an onion. There's so many different layers of, of culture and heritage, and it's recognising and valuing how different people live and just offering people different opportunities. I think that's where culture can make such a difference in people's lives. My name's Kevin Dixon. Um, I've lived in Torquay all my life. I'm very heavily involved in the voluntary sector, and I've got a particular passion for local arts, culture and history. Uh, Radical Torquay is, is really about the unheard voices of, of, uh, of my town and I've lived in uh, Torquay most of my life so it's everything from the, the people we've forgotten so it's every, the demonstrators, the rioters, the suffragettes, the poll tax protesters and it's everybody that's, that just kind of said I don't like what's going on in this town and I want to change it and sometimes they're right and sometimes they're wrong but I think their voices need to be heard. Well I, I, I mean I grew up in Torquay and um, I never used to particularly enjoy going to school and history uh, at school for me was very much kings and queens and battle dates and, and all of that kind of stuff and I think it's a real tragedy and I started getting inter interested in local history it was ghost stories that got me into it and then I started getting interested in well where did that story come from start picking out you know some of those ghost stories those local legends then I put a, a little article on the internet and then suddenly hundreds and then thousands of people started saying this is interesting people are fascinated by that and I think that's just a way in I think you need to go to pe where people are rather than where you'd like them to be. Well, where I find this stuff is it's uh, from other people. I mean, and it's what other people are absolutely fascinated in. So, um, yeah, I do a little bit of digging in old copies of newspapers, then I sort of read things on, um, on the internet and that triggers off and you might ask a question and then somebody said, oh, I remember my grandma did that. Those memories, those views, those family connections and those interests and seeing how communities change and evolve and it's, it's, I just think the whole thing's fascinating, but the real resource is people. Just, to, just talk to them and they'll tell you and they'd love to tell you if you express an interest. Uh, I think one of the, the issues about, uh, about Torquay is we've grown up as a tourist town and a very traditional tourist town, uh, but now I think tourism has changed. And what's happening with tourism now is, is people are interested in culture, they're interested in art, and they're interested in different stories. The days when people would come to places like Torquay, Peyton and Brixham, uh, with their bucket and spade and sit on the beach for two weeks have just gone. But what people are really fascinated in is, is history, it's culture, and it's what, it's what an, an area can actually offer. The things that people wouldn't, uh, I think, associate with what was seen as being a, a calm Torquay would be the sort of bread riots you know, back in the 1840s that were quite vicious and how they had to bring the army in to suppress people. Another thing would be the, the tremendous work and the suffering that local suffragettes went through as they were suppressed. Um, and the organiser of the suffragettes went in Torquay and paint and went to prison for six times, uh, lost all the teeth as she was force fed, never, she had a beautiful singing voice, never sang again. And the other thing, um, I, and I was act vaguely part of this, was uh, the anti poll tax movement in 1990, how a, a very quiet, peaceful town suddenly seemed to erupt in anger about what they saw as a perceived injustice. And 5,000 people ended up in a demonstration on. Uh, on paint and seafront and everybody was just amazed that, that a third of the population of Torquay could sign a petition against something they thought was wrong and we don't know what the next, the next bit of radical Torquay is going to be but I can guarantee it's out there and it's waiting.